Good morning guys, Richie Rich here. Today in this video, um, this is a uh, part 2 video of the uh, Nissan Nissan Skyline uh, GTR R34 uh, video. <clears throat> so, uh, uh, I've got all the uh, info uh, done. Um, I was like part way, like, I was like halfway like, like doing the uh, info until I took a bit of a break. So, I was a bit busy uh, at that time and I didn't have time to finish like off the info and all that and um yeah I was busy mowing the lawn all that sort of stuff yeah I've been working so hard you know just busy at home and all that stuff in college I've been busy as well so I didn't really have time to film or anything like that or do videos but uh yeah um but now I got the time and let's do it oh and also guys I got a haircut so as you can see I got it yesterday um so, pretty cool, cut around the sides, all around, a little bit off the top, it was a bit too long so they trimmed off a little bit, but uh, it was pretty cool, you know, considering you know, I got a new look, and so yeah, I'm proud of that, I'm happy if I can, you know, get a fresh haircut, you know, I mean, it's, all, it's good to have, you know, you know, it's good to have like a new look and all that sort of stuff, and like a fresh cut and all that sort of stuff and uh yeah so uh so without any further ado guys let's get started oh and but before we start if you guys like if you're interested in these videos and if you like them and all that and you find them useful to you like the videos subscribe comment below what you guys think and put a notification bell so you're alerted uh, when i make a new upload when you hit the notification bell on the side just hit all press when it says all Hit that and you'll receive like all like the videos that I make and all that sort of stuff and uh, you might receive comments and all that um, when I do like YouTube shorts and all that and uh, other videos as well I've been posting some uh, YouTube like shorts like the videos I've been posting like you know uh, uh, I remember this with the uh, the GT86 that one um, <clears throat> And at first I thought it was from 2011, but it's actually, I, I, I reached, I, I did some research of when it came out. It actually came out in 2012, so it was, uh, I was close, but uh, I was close. But, oh well. Yeah, it was a good car, at least. It was really cool. And I also took a picture of, not picture, but I also did a video of the uh, Ferrari FF. And it was pretty cool, you know. You know, pretty cool it's just to like, you know, see some cool cars and take a picture of And for the first time in my life, I took a picture, like, not, uh, why do I keep saying pictures, sorry. I was so tired, so like this morning, I'm so sleepy right now, but I still feel that. I even did a video of a Skyline GTT, actually. The one with the rear wheel drive RB25 and a 5 speed manual. Pretty cool. Also drinking a Tango uh, Orange, it's original. Pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, it's just pretty cool. Alright, so, without any further ado, guys, let's get started. Also, Tic Tacs as well. Yeah, box of Tic Tacs. Alright. <laughs> Let's get started. All right. Um, so yeah, the first generation uh, Skyline from 1969 to 1972, and it's the uh, first generation PGC10. So its overview is first. Um, the production was from February 1969 to 1970. From 1969 to 1972, only nine, only one thousand nine hundred and forty-five cars were produced. At those times, for three years, almost done two thousand cars. Uh, designer was Sinichiro Sakurai. I I practiced like uh, yesterday. I, I practiced like trying to say that, and I actually like got it right. Sinichiro Sakurai. Yeah, Sinichiro Sakurai. There we go. Uh, body and chassis, uh, two versions you can get is, uh, the first one is a four-door sedan, which is a, or saloon, uh, PG, uh, C10. And the second option is a two-door coupe, or coupe, uh, K, PG, C10. 
Its layout is front engine rear wheel drive. A powertrain engine is a 2 liter S20 inline 6. Transmission is a 5 speed manual. Dimensions for the is next. Uh, wheelbase uh, 2570 millimeters, 101.2 inches. Length so the wheelbase is done. Uh, length is uh, 4,000, yeah, 4,400 millimeters, 173.2 inches. Width, 1,665 millimeters, um, 65.6 inches. Height, 1,370 millimeters, 1,370 millimeters, 53.9 inches. I have to sometimes say it's slow because I always just like rush it like just like too fast so I have to sometimes slow down a little bit so 1370 millimeters 53.9 inches curb weight 2425.1 pounds 1100 kilos pretty light for a car from the late 60s to the early 70s so the first Skyline GTR known by Known by the internal Nissan designation. Well, all right. So the first Skyline GTR known by the internal internal Nissan uh, designation of PGC10 was introduced on February fourth, nineteen sixty-nine, and was exclusive to Japanese Nissan dealership network called Nissan Print Store. When the Prince company was integrated into Nissan operations into Nissan operations in 1969. It was available it was available originally as a four-door sedan or saloon after a public debut at the October 1968 Tokyo Motor Show. Just a spray I got right there. Artisan Art Liar Sadar Blanc. Eau de Parfum, 100 milliliter, 100 milliliters. That's a French one, but it's cool. All right, it was available originally as a four-door sedan after a public debut at the October 1968 Tokyo Motor Show. It was advertised alongside the Nissan R380 race car to showcase the Skyline's racing heraldry. It's spelled H-E-R-A-L-D-R-Y. I can't really like say it, the word properly. Uh, it was equipped with a 2 liter uh, DOHC dual overhead cam S20 inline 6 engine rated at 119 kilowatts, 162 PS, 160 horsepower at, se at 7,000 RPM and 130 pound feet of torque, 100 176 newton meters of torque of, yeah, of torque at 5,600 RPM. Power was delivered to the rear wheels by a 5-speed manual gearbox and the car was equipped with a limited slip differential, or I'll say faster, LSD. It's short for that. Uh, the first Skyline GTR rode on a semi-trailing arm strut suspension. It rode on a semi-trailing arm strut suspension. The braking system consisted of brake rotors, or brake discs, at the front and drum brakes at the rear. It was available in a coupe or coupe uh, body style in March 1971 with a chassis code KPGC10. The interior of the car was very basic and featured racing bucket seats. Yeah, racing racing bucket seats. <laughs> so yeah, that's why it has a racing bucket seats and a three-spoke steering wheel along with wood inserts. The pedals were finished in aluminum or aluminium. Uh, a popular name for the PGC and KPGC-10 Skyline GTR was Hakosuka, which combines the Japanese word for box, which is Hako, and the pronounced abbreviation of Skyline, Suka, or Sukairain. Sukairain. I don't. I still don't know how to pronounce that. Sukairain. It's spelled S U K A I. R A I N. So Kairin? I don't know how to pronounce that. Do you guys know how to pronounce that? Comment below with, like how you pronounce the word. Like it's a bit too tough for me like to, under to understand the word. It, it might be tough for you guys, I guess, but uh I don't know, but uh it's somewhere around there. I don't know. But. 
I got no clue. Uh, a total of 1,945 or 1,945 PGC and KPG C10 Skyline GTRs were produced. Next up is the second generation uh, Skyline from 1973 called the KPG C110. Its overview is first production is from 1973. Only 200 of those cars were produced. Well, it was only 197, so I round that up to 200. Okay, it's closer. Well, it's close to 195, but still. Uh, design the designer is the same man, Sinichiro Sakurai. Body and chassis. This next body style is a two door coupe or coupe. Layout is front engine, rear wheel drive, powertrain. Engine is a two liter. Uh, S20 in line 6, transmission is a 5 speed manual. Uh, dimensions, wheelbase, say dimensions is next. Uh, wheelbase 2610 millimeters, 102.8 inches. Length 4460 millimeters, 175.6 inches. Width 1695 millimeters, 66.7 inches. Height 1380 millimeters. 54.3 inches and the weight is 2,524.3 pounds which is 1,145 kilograms. The KPG C10's successor, the KPG C110, was introduced in 1973 after its introduction at the 1972 Tokyo Motor Show. Powered by a 1,989cc 2 liter a yeah, two-liter uh, inline-six engine, the second gen uh, of the uh, GTR, delivered power to the rear wheels through a five-speed manual gearbox. This car also had both front and rear brake rotors, or front and rear brake discs. The suspension was a semi-trailing uh, ring arm setup, and, mi and minor aerodynamic parts were added. This model of the GTR was also known as the Kenameri Skyline, due to a popular advertisement between a young couple, Ken and Mary, enjoying the Hokkaido countryside. The advertisement later spawned a hit song by Buzz, and the tree featured in the advertisement later became a minor star itself. Well, that's how it is, love. That's what they say, apparently. Uh, the second gen GTR was unsuccessful as a fuel crisis hit in the early 70s in the early 1970s, reducing demand for high-performance sports cars. A total of 197 cars were built by the end of its start production run. Not start production, sorry. Short production run. There we go. For the next decade, this was the last GTR until the production of the R32 in 1989. Speaking of the R32, here's the next one. Sorry if I reversed my voice a little bit, but I was just like getting to that point. We're getting to the best of the best R30, of the best Skyline GTRs. Next one, we got the third generation, 1989 to 1994. This might be your favorite one. It's the third generation R32. It sort of is my favorite car as well. Overview, this first one. Production is from August 1989 to November 1994. Only forty three thousand nine hundred and seven only forty three thousand nine hundred and thirty seven cars were produced. Designer was Naganori uh, Ito. Body and chassis uh, body style is a two door coupe layout front engine all wheel drive this time. So all four wheels to get better grip and better control, like better steering. So yeah, front engine all wheel drive powertrain. The engine is probably the best one in the world. A 2.6 liter, yeah, 2.6 liter twin turbocharged RB26 DTT inline six engine. And the transmission is a stock five speed manual. Uh, dimensions uh, wheelbase is 2,615 millimeters, 103 inches. Length 4,545 millimeters, 178.9 inches. Uh, width 1,755 millimeters, 69.1 inches. Uh, height 1,341 millimeters, 52.8 52 .8 inches. 
curb weight, 3,153 pounds, which is 1,430 kilos. It's a little bit heavy considering it has got an all-wheel all drive system and an RB26 with twin turbo chargers. And 1,430 kilos. So we got the concept version to talk about this time. But we'll get to the other ones next. I promise. Alright, <clears throat> concept first one. After discontinuing the Skyline GTR, yeah, after discontinuing the Skyline GTR in 1973, Nissan revived the GTR nameplate again in 1989. So that was like 16 years ago after the Skyline was like discontinued in 1973. At the time, Nissan was competing in Group A racing with the Skyline GTSR. Nissan wanted to retire the GTSR in favor of a more competitive car. The new generation of the GTR, the E BNR32 chassis, commonly shortened to R32, was designed to dominate to dominate a uh, Group A class racing. Nissan Kuki, Nissan's powertrain engineering and manufacturing facility, originally tested a twin turbocharged 2.4 liter 2350 cc board and stroked version of the RB20 engine. The setup was. The setup resulted in a power output of 233 kilowatts, 317 PS, and 312 horsepower, and used a rear-wheel drive drivetrain. That's a lot of power for a car like that. To have nearly a 2.5 liter engine, that's like the same engine, like the same liter, like the engine 2.5 liters that they used in the GTT Skyline ER34, which was the RB25 engine, five-speed manual and rear-wheel drive. So yeah, the setup resulted in the power output of 233 kilowatts, 317 PS, 312 horsepower, and used the rear-wheel drive drivetrain. Yeah, rear-wheel drive drivetrain. Under group rate, under group A regulations, a turbocharged engine must multiply its engine displacement by 1.7 liters. Putting putting the new Skyline in the 4,000 cc four-liter class. And requiring the use of 10 inch wide tires. Knowing that they would be required to use 10 inch wide tires, Nissan decided to make the car all wheel drive. So, like, all four wheels are spinning and they get like, more control whenever you're going over, like, whenever you're going to like a turn, like left or right, and all that. If you're doing like drag racing, the all wheel drive system will get you much more traction and a bit more acceleration. And boom! you accelerate off the line so knowing that they would be required to use 10 inch wide tires Nissan decided to make the car all, to make the car all wheel drive Nissan developed a special motorsport orientated all wheel drive system for this purpose called the Atessa ETS which stands for uh, advanced total traction engineering system for all terrain although this assisted with traction it made the car 220 it made the car 220 pounds, 100 and say, 220 pounds, 100 kilos heavier. The added weight put the GTR at a disadvantage to other cars in the 4,000 cc class, which is the four liter class. Nissan then made the decision to increase the displacement to 2,600 cc's, 2.6 liters, to be precise, and. Puts the car in the 4,500 cc 4.5 liter class, with the car's weight near equal to competing to competing cars. The 4,500 cc 4.5 liter class also allowed for 11 inch wide tires. New engine block and heads were then developed to better match the increased displacement. The result was a car that had a power output of 441 kilowatts, 600 PS, 592 horsepower. I swear that's like the same power as a McLaren 12C. Cause I saw in Top Gear, like with the, the cars, like concept cars that they were like seeing. Like I heard like they had like a four liter twin turbo V8 had like 592 horsepower, which is 30 more than a 458 Ferrari. My dream supercar. So 592 horsepower. Later, Reinic, or Reinic, which stands for Racing and Rally Engineering Division Incorporated Nissan Kuki, uh, produced Group A 
<coughs> Group A racing engines rated between 373 to 485 kilowatts, 507 to 659 PS, 500 to 650 horsepower. Depending on track conditions. Yeah, so depending on the track conditions, like if the track is like like dry or is like slippery or icy there, like they have to like be cautious about like the power output for these cars. So they won't like go like un like spinning out under spinning out under control and all that sort of stuff. So depending on depending on track conditions. So next up we got to production. The new two thousand five hundred and sixty eight CC two point six liter RB26 DETT powered all wheel drive concept was put into production put into production as the R32 Nissan Skyline GTR and that's the main car that's legal in the US whereas the R33 and R34 is still is still illegal you have to be like 25 years old for it to be ruled legal which is a disappointment for me but unfortunately that's how it works because it did not meet the road regulations in the US. That's like the problem after the car was imported. So the R32 developed 206 kilowatts, 280 PS, 276 horsepower at 6,800 RPM and 260 pound feet, 353 Newton meters of torque at 4,400 RPM. It had a curb weight of 3,150 pounds, 1,430 kilos. Nissan. Nissan of sorry, had a <coughs> voice crack on this. <clears throat> Nissan officially started its production run August twenty first, nineteen eighty nine, nineteen eighty nine, nineteen eighty nine. There we go, and began its Group A campaign in nineteen ninety. So it's like the start of the early nineties. <sighs> so, um. The Skyline GTR Nismo, identified by the model, identified by the model, by the model, model code. Okay, say model code. There we go. Model code suffix RA. Say RA, basically. Uh, was introduced on February twenty second, nineteen ninety, and attached a premium of two hundred and thirty. 235,500 yen, which is 235,500 yen. So, yen is like the currency in Japan over the standard car. It existed, it existed to, homolo to homologate a number of changes re related, to <coughs> related to performance, aerodynamics, weight saving, and reliability for Group A racing. Those rules require the production run of 500 units, so like 500 cars have to be built in order to race. So yeah, under the evolution spec, well, special uh, regulations, uh, but an additional 60 were produced and held by Nissan to turn in race cars, rising the production total uh, total to 500 units. Not 500, not 500, sorry, 560 units, there we go. Aerodynamic changes include two uh, additional ducts in the front bumper and removal of the protective honeycomb mesh to improve airflow to the intercooler, a hood lip spoiler, or bonnet lip spoiler, I don't know, uh, to direct more air into the engine bay, deeper rear spats, and an additional trunk or boot uh, lip spoiler to produce, well, to provide more downforce. The Nismo specification deletes ABS, which isn't legal in Group A, and the rear wiper, well, windshield or windscreen wiper, wind, windscreen wiper to save weight. Uh, the hood, well, bonnet, and front panels are aluminum or aluminium in all group, not group, sorry, uh, in all GTR models. So yeah, the hood and front pan, the hood and front panels are aluminum in all GTR models, rather than the standard steel in non-GTR models. Just like the GTS, the GTT, and all that stuff. Again, to save weight. So, yeah. standard steel and non GTR models, again, to save weight. Overall, the GTR Nismo weighs 3,086 pounds, 1,400 kilos, compared to 3,153 pounds. Yeah, 3,153 pounds, 1,430 kilos, 
from the for the standard uh, GTR. <clears throat> Tires are Bridgestone R. <coughs> Sorry. Tires are Bridgestone RE seventy ones. In. In two twenty two twenty five fifty five R 16s fitted to sixteen inch alloy wheels. Mechanically, the GTR Nismo uses the RB26 engine as the standard GTR, but replaces the standard, the standard Garrett T03 turbochargers with larger T04B mod, T04B models, which are like the larger uh, T04B turbos, sacrificing, sacrificing the faster uh, spool up of the ceramic turbo wheels for the enhanced reliability of steel wheels. The GTR, so it's like the, the turbine inside the turbo, it's like spinning and all that. So like. I could try to like practice through turbo noises. I could try to, please. Sorry, that was a terrible one. Kind of sounds like either a blow off valve or a waste gate. So we do it one time. One more time. Sometimes I, sometimes I do like, like, sometimes I do it slow, but this time I'll do it faster, so I like try to force it out like this. Like that. So enhanced, reli enhanced reliability of steel wheels. The GTR Nismo was only available in color code KH2, gun, gun gray metallic. Other minor but noticeable changes include a circular Nismo uh, logo on the right rear of the trunk lip, well, boot, boot lip, a lack of radio tuning controls on the dashboard console since the radio was an option, was an optional extra, and cross-drilled brake rotors for brake discs. Uh, Nis Nismo branded options available included a 260 km an hour. 162 mile an hour speedometer, three inch, yeah, three inch uh, cat bike exhaust system, front suspension tower brace, sports shock absorbers, yeah, sports shock absorbers, 17 inch alloy wheels, and a rear wing with a built in third brake light. So it's like a brake light in the middle of the spoiler, like built into there. Uh, the Skyline GTR N1 model, identified by the model, by the, no, by, the, by the model code suffix ZN or ZN was introduced on July 19th, 1991 and designed by and designed for home market N1 racing with a total with a total of 245 units eventually produced 118 of these are N1 64 are V spec N1 and well not 63 64 I meant and 63 there we go are V spec 2 N1 model yeah V spec 2 N1 models the most noticeable change was in the engine, which was upgraded to the R32 N1 specification. Building on the Nismo car's specification, it was also lightened by, remo by the removal of ABS, rear wiper, AC, sound system, trunk carpet were also deleted, and distinctive lightweight headlights were fitted. So that literally all shapes weight. Replacing the heavier ones with lighter ones will just pays off. N1 cars also had reinforcing for the brake master cylinder and additional brake cooling ducts under the car. All N1 all N1 cars were delivered with a thin layer of color code 326 crystal white paint. To celebrate the success of the GTR in both Group N and Group A racing, Nissan introduced the Skyline GTR V Spec Victory specification package on February 3rd, 1993. The V-Spec was available in both plain and N1 variants with all V-Spec cars using the lightweight aluminum or aluminum hood or bonnet and front bumpers from the Nismo version. The car has also replaced the standard 16-inch wheels with 17-inch BBS uh, wheels with 225 45R17 tires. Finally, on February 14th, 1994, that was on Valentine's Day, uh, the Skyline GTR V-Spec 2 was introduced with, with the only change being wider 245-45 R17 tires. So like the tires are just wider. The plain uh, V-Spec and V-Spec 2 had a curb weight of 3,263 pounds, 
1,480 kilos, almost 1,500 kilos. Um, weighing 110 pounds, 50 kilos more than the standard GTR. Total production of the V-Spec and V-Spec 2 was 1,396 to 1,000. Yeah, so so from uh, one so it was 1,396 and 1,306 units respectively. Production of the R32 Skyline GTR ceased in November 1994 after a production run of 43,937 units. The most popular colors <coughs> are. There's four colors that are popular. There is uh, the first one is KH2 Gunmetal Gray. 45% of the cars use that. Followed by 326 Crystal White, 18%, 732 Black Pearl Metallic, 13%, and KLO Spark Silver Metallic, 12%. So they have 12% for that. The rarest color is BLO Grayish Blue Pearl, with only 141 units using that color. In 1989, the Japanese Best Motoring TV program conducted a test at the Nürburgring Nordschleife with a production version Nissan Skyline GTR R32. Driven by Motoharo Kurosawa, a retired professional Japanese racing driver, the car completed a lap time of 8 minutes and 22.38 seconds around the semi, uh, the semi-wet or damp uh, condition circuit, making it the fastest production car around the track. All right. <clears throat> As of August 2014, the first, yeah, first, hold on. It was sliding off a little bit. So yeah, as of August 2014, the first R32 Skyline GTRs became eligible for U.S. import under the NHTSA, National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, 25-year rule. Um. <clears throat> That allows cars that are 25 years old to the month or older to be imported. So in other words, the cars have to be like 25, have to have an age of 25 plus years. So yeah, have to be like 25 years old for the cars to be imported legally to the US. If they're not at that stage, then they can't be imported and it will still be illegal in the US roads. So yeah. Um, <laughs> These cars, due to their age, don't have to comply with federal emissions or with federal motor vehicle safety standards. Uh, the R32 Zero-R version was a special tuner edition which was engineered by HKS with 441 kilowatts, 600 PS, 591 horsepower. Ten were made, but only four remained in existence. So the other six didn't like really exist, I guess. Uh, one was bought by the self by the Sultan of Brunei, or well, Sultan of Brunei, I think it was. It's spelled B R U N E I. Brunei. I, I don't really know how to pronounce that word. One of them was bought at the 2019 Tokyo Auto Salon for two hundred and twelve thousand Australian dollars. Well, yeah, two hundred and twelve grand and sent to. Australia. So we got the production figures next. So the first, so we got eight versions of these GTRs, and we got also got a total of how much they are, like in total of how many cars are produced. So the first one, the GTR. Uh, so number one we got on the list is the GTR Series One. Seventeen thousand three hundred and sixteen were produced. Number two on the. Oh whoa! Sorry, you guys okay? Sorry about that. I'll leave it like that. There we go. So number two on the list, uh, the GTR Nismo, 560 were produced. Next up we got the GTR Australian edition. So yeah, from Australia, 100 were only produced. GTR Series 2, 1,000, no, 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 not 1,000, sorry, uh, 11,000, there we go, 11,187. Now we got the GTR Series 3 version, 11,800. And 27. So if I do the math, that is an extra 100. Seven hundred and forty more. Yeah. So seven hundred and forty more cars were produced from series two to series three. So GTR 
uh, series 3, 11,827. Next, number 6 is the V-Spec, 1,396. Number 7 is the V-Spec 2, uh, 1,306. So, 90, so, V-Spec made 90, 90 more than V-Spec 2 has. V-Spec 1,396, V-Spec 2, 1,306. Next one, number 8, is the N1 version of 245. So the GTR N1, 118, V-Spec N1, 64, and V-Spec 2 N1, 63. So a total of, so a total of how much cards were produced, the total is 43,937 40, 43, cards were produced. Whoa! Oh my god, this doesn't hold. Alright guys, so I, um, I figured out I'm going to end the video right now. So um, if you guys like this video, like it, subscribe, comment below what you guys think. Um, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, and also don't forget to put a notification bell so you're alerted when I make a new upload. And most importantly, comment below what other cars you got in mind. Because like after i have done the, uh, the Skyline, I'll be doing the Super next. And, um, I don't really know what other cards I would also do, but I got more on the list I got, uh, planned, but, uh, uh, whatever I have in mind, I might be able to do, but until then, that'll be it, so, uh, if you guys like this video, like, subscribe, comment below what you guys think, when you hit the notification bell, hit all, so you're alerted when I make all uploads and comments and all that sort of stuff, and, like, Scheduled, scheduled posts if you like see on the community you would have seen like the cars I like got off the internet and I'm posting them on to YouTube so like what cars I'll be talking about and yeah oh uh, well so yeah um so we got very soon I'll be doing the fourth generation Skyline DR33 another one of the best cars I like one of my favorite cars as well <clears throat> but until then have a really great day guys, stay safe, <clears throat> and uh, enjoy your day, enjoy your weekend as well, and I'll see you guys in the next video. So until then, stay safe, have a good day, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye guys.